All right, everybody knows when you scrub something against something else, you cause heat. Well, we have particles glued to our atmosphere, semi-glued, which is our atmosphere. And they interact with all the particles in space, and there is bazillions of them, because they are the same particles as light, and the sun and everything else emits light. So here we are on the Earth, spinning like this, and all of us are spinning through space on the arm of the Milky Way, which we're going to show in a second. But this is the size of the Earth if it just had its normal atmosphere. Well, guess what? We are putting so much carbon dioxide and other gases into the atmosphere, it's swelling up. Well, this is not going to go away, just get out of the way, because we want to swell up. This is going to come at the same pressure. So if we push harder, what's going to happen? We're going to warm up. Simple as that. It's the push to shove and the scrub of electron to electron. And right now, my friends, this is our atmosphere. All right, We're like this, scrubbing through space now against the sun's particles. It's just insane what we have done. The amount of particles, the expansion of gases is absolutely astronomical and the only way that we can stop this is to stop combusting things gases coal combustion creates gases from solids it's just the way it works and they get thousands of times bigger which makes this envelope get bigger and bigger and this is not going to go away all right so here's the deal here's what's happened i drew, drew this little doodle Coming from the sun, all these particles are smashing into our atmosphere out here. And they are everywhere in the universe. And they just did a study and they found out, yes, as they get further out of the universe, out of our galaxy, I'm sorry, out of, heading out of the galaxy, it gets denser and denser. Why would that be? Same thing on the Earth. When you leave our atmosphere here and you head out to the ionosphere it gets denser and denser because of, of ions because it's scrubbing with the particles hitting it that's why it's 2700 degrees out here and it's only a hundred or so on earth sun is the same thing on the surface of the sun 7000 out at the edge of the corona millions because that's where their particles interact with the other particles they're scrubbing against that's where our particles of our atmosphere being blown up like a balloon are interacting with the particles hitting us causing huge amounts of radiated energy it comes down it doesn't go up 2700 degrees out here why why was why is that it should be cold out there it should be cold out there from the sun it should be colder millions 7000 on the sun 100 2700 out here it's the scrub factor now let me show you how they just proved that I'm right all right, this is really the, what's happening with our solar system. We're on the arm of the Milky Way being ripped through, and we're all spinning because there's always a right-hand rule. I can't explain it 100%, but it, things turn to the right as they impact. As the imp sun impacts, you see this stuff coming off the side of the sun? That's its impact zones. We have our impact zones, and we will create heat on our impact zones. And every time you face facing the sun, you have that impact zone of the sun's particles smashing against us. Now let's look at what the galaxy looks like, and because we, we're on one of the arms. Now, as I said, everything appears to spin to the right. Now you can see these arms are bent back. The only reason for that is because they are impacting something. There's something here. They're coming out and they're hitting it, and it's sliding off this way. And these interference patterns are the black dark matter in between the concussive white and the next strip of concussive white. They'll be dark in between each, each layer. Now, you do have some interference patterns here where they just slap them together, which creates excessive glow. And in the center is where the, it's just like a wrench. And they're forcing everything to congeal in the center. That's the, where the black hole is. But it's not a black hole. It's a black center. You know, they're talking about black holes. I don't think that's, that's what they're... I don't think you're going to see a black hole. 
All right, let's talk about black holes. This is NASA. This is from uh, Miser 87, October 2017, about this supermassive black hole. I don't see any black hole there. I see a, a little bright spot, and then I see a whole bunch of glow. Well, in my mind, there will be a, a black hole in there, but it will be inside of a surrounding of the electrons. Just like I said before, all the dark matter will go to the center. All of the particles on the outside will be the white particles. And they will try to get away from each other. So they will push each other out and they, and, but the, from this core. But inside that core will be a ton of that dark matter. Because that's what's holding the core together. Dark matter is extremely attractive to the white particles. Now, it, it probably is spinning. It doesn't appear to look like it's spinning, but everything does appear to spin. Now, that could be right, that could be wrong. But I can tell you what, the dark matter will always go to the center. That's what happens. It will, in a light particle, it's a, a four-way, it looks just like this. Here's what an electron looks like. That is the dark matter I'm talking about. There's the concussive explosive white matter. A photon is just a, two of those back to back, it's just like two bar magnets. And that has a field way around it. Look up 21 centimeter line if you want to know. Hydrogen atom, one atom is controlled up to tw eight, uh, 21 centimeters around it. It will react to a magnetic field 21 centimeters away. I think it's like eight inches. Now, everything is made of electrons. So the core of, of, of all nucleuses and protons and neutrons is going to be one of these black hole coated electron jobbers. And then they just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. As the more you crush together, the more electrons surround and force the dark parts of them to the center. I've, I've shown them separate and this is it's pretty obvious now what's going on. And in a galaxy, let me show you what the Milky Way looks like. Now, I don't know if this is somehow they got this actual representation of the galaxy or this is just some kind of artist rendition, but it doesn't matter. Because what you have is a spinning particle, which is now become the center of the galaxy. And that particle is just crushing, 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 because that's where your dark matter is. And now the, all the electrons want to get into where that dark matter is. And it keeps getting denser and denser and denser in the center, the black hole. Surrounding it is all of our explosive particles. And this is just crushing it like a wrench. And forcing them to get tighter and tighter and tighter. As these concuss what's in front of it. That's why. They did, they're not just turning by themselves. They are being forced to turn because they're pushing into something that's pushing them. That's what causes glow. And then that one pushes against when it causes glow. And its dark matter goes to the center and pushes to the next one causes glow. And this, the spaces in between are the dark matter side of the glowy particle. And the glowy particle will always go to the center and be bordered by dark matter on both sides. And then there'll be another glowy particle. And then the dark matter, another glowy particle. And that's what this is right here. And the harder you turn, and the, more, the harder you turn is because either the speed of the spin of the galaxy is faster, and it will start spinning faster as it congeals more and more matter in the center, identical to what a, 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 a skater does. They pull their arms and zip, and they, zip, and they go flying like a bazillion miles an hour because the mass is no longer spread out. It's now consolidated. And when you consolidate mass, the spin just increases. It's, it's, that's a pretty obvious principle. It's not obvious to your mind, but it's obvious when you see it happen. You see a, a figure skater starts to spin and spins, and they pull their arms and, zip, and they go flying like a rocket ship. Speaking of that, did you see Britney Spears? Man, I couldn't believe she was spinning like a top on <laughs> Doing cartwheels, it was absolutely phenomenal. Anyway, that's just a little tidbit. Now, maybe I could get Britney Spears to stand up for us to try to save the earth. Because maybe, you know, I like to see her get out of her servitude. Let's get, let the human race get out of its servitude. Britney, help us. 
Okay, if what I'm saying is true, these, this would be loaded with electrons, which are called ions, and guess what they call this? The ionosphere. It's because it's saturated with these particles being pushed into us. Now, if I am right about the arms of the galaxy being forced back to crush the center of the galaxy as it spins through, that would mean that those arms are being pushed against something else. Exactly like us invading the sun space or the sun space trying to invade us. It's galaxy against galaxy. At that interface, you're going to increase the density of the electrons. And that is precisely what they found. Now, once again, they think space is a vacuum, there's just nothing out there. Well, everybody knows that's not true, and they know it's not true. I just don't want to know why they won't step up and admit to these things. But what they did see is they found something strange, they say, at the outside of the solar system. They found exactly what I would expect to find. And what did they find? Let's listen. This is Ray's astrophotography. And what happened was a Voyager 1 found something strange out the, so outside the solar system. It went 14.2 billion miles away from Earth. And as it started to get way out there, electrons became more dense. You'd expect them to become just almost nothing out there. But no, it's the interface of our solar system into another solar system. Fourteen point two billion miles from Earth. It's the most distant out thing that they've sent out. Something very density of space increased. And they say it's not like hitting a wall. It's just like I showed you, scrub to scrub. Sharply increased, exactly like ours does. That's the ionosphere of the solar system. It's supposed to be only point oh three seven. It was point. One three. That's a, a lot, lot more sharp increase. Now the new theory says exactly what I'm saying. The interstellar medium is full of turbulent waves expected to come from our galaxy's rotation. Exactly. But they're not waves. They're particles. Our galaxy's rotation against their galaxy's rotation. That is what's happening. But the, it's particles, it's not waves. They just don't understand the nature of, of atomic physics, not at all. They have just gigantic protons and neutrons and one little tiny electron out there floating around or a couple of them. And they, 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 there's no way. That's a negative. This is one solid positive, they think. Impossible. First of all, everything has to be a dipole in its natural state. You can't have a positive without any negative. They just come slamming together. And that's exactly what happens. And when they do that, they create atoms. But the atoms are made of protons that exist not of one big thing, but of 1839 electrons together. And that gives them a dipole nature, which is the only way any nucleus can work. It can't be one gigantic positive and tiny little negatives. It just never worked. And they know it doesn't work. And now they're all talking about, let's break physics. Well, we broke it a long time ago. I sent all this stuff off six years ago to everybody that's ever been thinking about an electron. So they can't say they didn't get it.